Good. Good. How are you? Good. Happy Good. belated birthday. Thank you very much. Thank you. Happy birthday. Um, last time you guys were at home, you guys really used those backcourt traps to create havoc and, and cause turnovers. Do you think maybe going back to maybe a little bit more of that could, could help you guys? Um, definitely. I think when we play aggressive, both on the offensive and defensive side, uh, a lot of good things happen. Um, when we speed teams up, I think we're one of the more athletic and long teams in the, in the nation. So when we speed teams up and create turnovers, you know, we have the players to get those steals and push in transition to get easy baskets. So um, I think we, um, we can definitely do more of that, and it would, it would help a lot. When you went back and looked at the second half of the SC game, what, what was not working for you guys on offense particularly? Um, I think just, um, you know, credit to USC. They had, they had a pretty good um, defensive zone, and they were moving around. And I think we, you know, we were just a little bit flustered. And, you know, we weren't knocking down shots. We got some, some good looks. We just didn't knock down. Um, but, you know, it was tough, but, you know, we're going to make adjustments and next time we play them, you know, hopefully uh, it goes the other way. Jalen was saying that both Arizona State and Arizona like to play a lot of man defense, which is something you haven't seen a lot in the Pac-12. Are you looking forward to that? Yeah, for sure. I mean, it's, 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 uh, it opens up lanes for a lot of players on our, um, for a lot of players on our team who like to drive and um, use the dribble to get to the basket and create. So um, I think that'll open up uh, sort of our offense a little bit and, you know, allow players to, Get to the rim easier. You guys really want to speed up the tempo, but yeah. how do you balance playing quickly but not turning it over? Because Coach Barker was saying that you guys definitely need to cut the turnovers. Down. Yeah, I mean it's hard. You know, we're just we're just getting used to it. Um, you know, it's it's something that you know we just had to change not too many few, uh, not too many weeks ago, and you know um, we're adapting a new type of style of play. I mean, we we played fast with Alford, but this is you know. Um, Barto wants us to play even even faster, so we're get, we're adjusting to it. Um, it's going to take some time, you know, to cut down those turnovers, but you know we got to expedite the process, and you know we're going to work hard in practice, and you know um, just sort of relax. I think I think when we get in games, sometimes we get a little nervous, especially you know maybe for freshmen. Um, you know we get nervous, and you know we're not used to the type of light that we're under, so um, you know there then. Uh, Turnovers occur, so. Um, but I think I think we need to keep up the pace. It definitely helps us a lot, as you saw in the the first three games. You know, we're we're definitely capable of playing that way um, all the time. So, hopefully, uh, you know, we cut down the turnovers and things move in the right direction. What's been kind of we're like halfway through your freshman season now. What's been kind of the biggest, most important thing you think you've learned? Uh, just the importance of taking care of the ball and being efficient. Um, you know, you don't um, you don't always get certain opportunities back in the games, and you know maybe one possession could change the whole game. So you gotta you gotta take every possession seriously, um, be as efficient as possible, and take care of the ball because you know especially when you're on the road, um, turnovers hurt you, and you know it's hard to win games on the road when you have a lot of turnovers. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it.